Yeah, well, I actually got a great question from a therapist who specializes in adolescent anxiety that I recommend for leaders and parents across the board, which is to ask your young person on a scale of one to 10, 10 being you know very anxious, one being not anxious at all, how are you doing? Um, and a one to three is not much to worry about, four to five is probably handleable. And at a six or above is when you wanna think about how do I get extra help, support, mental health professionals involved, et cetera. And sometimes if a young person can't choose their own number, we as leaders or parents can go to them and say, gosh, you know, it feels like on a, on a scale of one to 10, you're about at a fill in the blank and then see how they respond to that. But I sure. found that one to 10 really helpful and tangible for, for myself as a parent and other parents and leaders. Yeah, well, I love that. And, you know, anything that we can do to create specificity, I think sometimes it's hard for, uh, when somebody's struggling to put words around things and to have a dialogue around it. So, I mean, looking for creative ways, you know, numbers, draw what you're feeling inside. You know, like don't, you don't have to talk about it. like do a little picture or something. The other thing that I'd encourage um, parents to do with their kids and have their kids do is um, a daily check-in with your, your mind, your heart and your body. And asking ourselves like how is my mind how is my heart and my mind being my thoughts what am i thinking about is there anything churning inside my head my heart what are the emotions that i'm feeling right now what is, can i name them can i um, identify them am i trying to bury them and pretend they're not there uh, or am i welcoming them and then our body the the check-in with our body is Am I holding any tension in my neck? How's my breathing? Any stomach issues, lower back issues? Like the body actually communicates a lot about our mental health and our, our state. Probably more than anything, our, our body is a truth teller, and yet we never really ask questions about how we're feeling in our body. So daily check-in, head, heart, and body. You're, Mike, as you're speaking, I just take like deep breaths. <laughs> I'm listening, and I think that's so powerful. The one thing I keep thinking as we're having this conversation is also to lean into parents and let them know that as in, as deliberate as they can be and as intentional as they are, that there are a lot of times that we all miss it. And the signs are difficult to read. And so I think we all have to let ourselves off the hook sometimes and give grace to say, hey, if your kid is struggling and you had no idea, that's very common. And as you know, as proactive as you can be, um, there's you know not one thing that you could have done or one thing that makes uh, everything safe in this world for your kid. That's a great statement, Kristen. I yeah. I do 